This is a bit of a conservation of energy question along with an elastic potential or spring energy question. So we're looking at a mass that has some sort of velocity to begin with, and then it makes contact with a spring, and we're going to look at how much the spring is compressed by. So this really is a conservation of energy question because the mass starts off with purely kinetic energy, and it ends off with purely elastic or spring energy, which we'll call in this case ES for the spring. Um, we know our equations here, so our kinetic energy is one half mv squared, and our spring energy is one half kx squared. So these halves are going to cancel, which is great. It's a little bit less work to do, and we're left with mv squared equals kx squared. We can rearrange this equation to solve for x. So x is plus or minus the square root of mv squared over k. So by plugging in some values, we can see we have m 2.5 kilograms, v 3.0 meters per second, that is squared, and k 360 newtons per meter. What we're left here with is plus or minus about 0 0.25 meters. And the question states explicitly that it's a compression, so that's the minus value. Um, but in any case, since it's already stated in the question, we would say maybe therefore it is compressed by 0 0.25 meters.